Hi, I'm your roving reporter, going around asking people what the second most popular beverage in the world is. How many people actually know? Let's find out. Come on! Why? Yes, tea is the second most popular beverage in the world besides water, believe it or not. Hi, I'm Lori Ferguson and the owner of Infinity. Today, we're going to be going down the paths of history to find out exactly why is tea so popular. So come and join us. According to legend, in 2737 BC, the tea plant, the Camellia sinensis plant, was discovered by Emperor Shen Nung. A scientific man of his time, he cautioned people to boil their water before consuming it. So while taking his afternoon break, sipping his warm water beverage, a leaf from a nearby bush came floating down and landed in his cup. It colored his cup, gave off a pleasant odor, and he sipped this cup feeling quite energized. From that humble beginning, for many centuries, tea was used for its medicinal properties to cure many ailments and promote general good health. The healing qualities of tea had been used, as it still is today, to cure everything from tooth decay to stomach ailments to achieving a long and healthy life. Now on to Japan, where tea started to become a lovely ceremony and ritual, other than just medicinal. Oh, uh, thank you, thank you, dear. Oh, we're moving on now. When the Mongolians were trudging over the mountains on their yaks, they carried their tea in a more compact form as pressed tea cakes. When these travelers needed to make purchases from a local trader, because tea has so many mineral and vitamin qualities, these tea cakes were valuable and used as currency. Hey, say look, they're even getting change back. Tea became such a valuable commodity, and as with all valuables, history is full of wars that broke out over tea and tea plantations. Oh, but sorry guys, we're not gonna do that today. Never mind. Now, on to England during Queen Victoria's time. Breakfast was hearty but early, with a light lunch and a dinner much later in the evening. So Anna, the Duchess of Bedford, one of Queen Victoria's ladies-in-waiting, was hungry in the afternoon. Please, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, oh, oh. Let them eat cake. No, 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 no. Oh, oh. Off with their heads. No, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. Let them have tea. I'm not amused. So Anna is credited for the afternoon tea that consists of small sandwiches and pastries. Now tea began its social era. Women were not allowed to go unchaperoned anywhere except to the tea gardens. Wait a minute, don't I know you ladies from the other skit? No? Oh, never mind. In fact, tea was prepared at the house away from where it was served in the garden. Actually, the tradition of tipping started here. A wooden box marked T-I-P-S was placed on the table to ensure prompt service and coins were deposited into it before the service. So all you servers, waiters, waitresses out there can thank the tea gardens for your tips today. This concludes the history of tea in our Adventure Tea series. There are many more fun tidbits that await you on our website, so please visit www.infinity.net. Popular beverage in the world. Soda cola. Yeah, okay. Nope. Ah, so. One more with yeah, without the without. Do one more without the. Drink in the world. Coffee. Coffee.